Susan, why don't we start with you? Why don't you tell us your career path and how did you become the chief operating officer of a cybersecurity training firm? Yeah, it has been a wild ride and it's all started when I became a mommy. I had my daughter in 2017 and after a year of working a regular nine to five job, I was fed up. Um, of not being able to spend time with her and everybody else got to experience things with her. Funny story, like literally what I did was Google, how can I work from home and still get paid? Literally, that is what I Googled. <laughs> and from there, I just went down on a rabbit hole and I fell into this thing called being a virtual assistant. And literally, that is how I started in this online space. Uh, needless to say, I, I joined a coaching program, liked it, took a chance on myself. And within six months, I quit my job. After that, I, I took a, a couple of more programs, became certified in other things. And one of those was becoming an online business manager, in short OBM. And after I finished the program, you get put into this pool of alumni, if you will. And when online businesses are looking for someone such as an OBM, they can go into this, fill out a form and, and look for someone. And Jason actually filled out a form. And when I saw what he was looking for, I was like, oh, IT stuff, education. This is in my realm because I came from higher education. Took my chance, applied for it, interviewed with him, and I got the job. And four years later, here I am. Amazing. Awesome. That's incredible. Deidre? Awesome story. Yeah, thanks for having me and for what you all do, training, knowledge, it's all social service work. It's, it is also work and it requires passion. So thank you. We need more cyber professionals and having practical training like you give is so smart and we're thankful. So yes, my journey is unfortunately rare, which is why I give my time and particularly my time to women. However, course to everybody and what I do. And it's rare in that I was hired out of college by two serial entrepreneurial men in tech. And the first thing they brought me into was tech staffing. And for 13 years, we built an organization, 800,000 to 89 million in five years and kept figuring it out from there with recessions and coming back and all that today, it's a billion dollar firm. Anyhow, and then they took me into Rapid7 as the first VP of sales, tech staffing, Rapid7 software sales. I came up through sales, but it was okay. with the cyber community that I met the people that I just adore. I'm a sociology, criminal justice major, almost became a criminal attorney until I realized I didn't want to be participating in most laws, <laughs> putting people away. I was like, ah, I got to go. And so anyhow, finding these folks was just so rare and so wonderful. I worked for them for 21 years. They put me into being CEO of one of their other software firms after Rapid7. And that's how I became an executive through the, the vice president and executive roles. And when they retired, it was time for me to found my own firm and keep it going and hire and do what they did for me. And that's what I do. And I love it. 